testing a pistol barrel into the fixture and it is held like such. It operates the same way. Push the lever. Push the button. It doesn't make any difference who makes the barrel, Beretta, Sig, Remington, Winchester, or whoever. You can take the pistol barrel out of the pistol and put it into this fixture. Now, depending on the contour of the uh, barrel, you have different inserts in which that thing sits in. Once you figure out what brand of barrel that you're going to use, we put the correct insert in. You put the top plate on. And of course, we bolt it down. Now the breech block swings back and forth. The firing pin and the face plate, there is the face plate of the breech block. And then of course the firing pin is, goes all the way through. As you go ahead and rotate this down, you will see on the front there are some ball pins. I don't know if you can see them, right here and right there. What those ball pins do, as you rotate this breech block down, it pushes the breech block all the way to the rear, so you have a solid surface. Once you get the barrel in there, you take an empty brass, you stick it in the barrel, you push that down like that, and you push the barrel right up against the breech block your head space is already set. Then you tighten these nuts down. So every time that you shoot, there's no adjustment. Everything's automatically set for that particular barrel okay. and round. Now the thing is, is once you do that, we have to make sure that this breech block, when the firing, when it goes off, that we are hitting in the center of the primer. There is an adjustment screw in the breech block, which we are going to go ahead and do right now. And I don't know if you can... If you'll notice right here where my finger is, there is an adjustment screw. You can screw it way out. And that controls the adjustment of the breech. Now it's all the way down. We're going to come up a little bit. We're going to go ahead and tighten one of these screws up. Let me get the Allen wrench, which is right over here. Okay, we're going to tighten one of these up so the barrel doesn't move. Now, we have a cartridge in here. And we are going to go ahead and fire and to see if we have center ignition. Now if we'll look at the cartridge and I will pull it out. And you can see how high that we are hitting on the primer. So that means I have to make an adjustment to lower the breech block down so that we hit center ignition. So we'll make a slight adjustment, doesn't take much. We'll put one more in there, one more empty case. And what we have is a bad primer. And that does happen. But by doing that, we also see that we're a little bit high. So we're going to have to adjust some more. Put another case in there. Now with that one, you can see we have center ignition, and that's what you want to have. 
The other one was too high, and if you're too high, sometimes you can get misfires, and that's what we had there. But this one is dead center, and that's what you want. Now, depending on the barrel diameter and everything, and depends on which adjustment blocks that you put in there, this will have to be adjusted for all different types of barrels. Okay. Now the insert blocks for this particular one is for a 1911. These blocks right here are for a SIG model, so it takes a different adjustment block that goes in there. And that sets in there just like that. You unbolt that. Those adjustment blocks go in there. And you can control your head space the same way. This is the same unit. This is manual. You have to go ahead and push this lever mm -hmm. to allow the plunger to go and hit the firing pin. This is pneumatic. This is controlled by air. Other than that, everything is the same. So we're going to take out these, this block, and just show you how easy it is to change out the inserts. Now this particular barrel is a SIG 1911, SIG 45. So we're going to take out the insert, the bottom insert just comes right out. We're going to replace it with a SIG insert, 9mm, which just drops right in there. And then the upper one, there is a screw that you loosen up to take out the upper plate. And there's the guide pin so that you cannot get confused. And this goes in there. The screw is what holds it. Now we can take this little bitty old barrel, 9mm, put it in there, drop this down. We can set this up with a 9mm cartridge, just like we did before to set the head space. So this particular barrel is ready to go to shoot. And like I say, this is pneumatic. We'll not only shoot this one outside, and we'll also shoot this one just to show you how it works. Everything is exactly the same, except this is manual and this is pneumatic. All the adjustments are identical. So what do these machines do? Well, two things. One, they test the barrel for accuracy, and then they test the ammunition which is being fired through it. You can take different brands of ammunition, and you're going to find out to a particular barrel, semi ammunition won't shoot at all, mm -hmm. accuracy wise. And some will shoot better than others. Okay. So if a manufacturer is making their own ammo, say SIG or Beretta, they can actually take and tailor their ammunition to shoot in their barrels. Mm -hmm. That sounds like a pretty good deal. Yeah. So they're advertising the fact they can actually guarantee that that barrel shoots, say, one inch with their ammo. Now it may not shoot one inch with another brand, but they're selling their brand. And that's, that's what you have here. So anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, the next phase will be for go ahead and uh, shoot these, just to show you the functioning again, and uh, we'll see what we have.